Analyzing Evidence, Mastering the Art of Drawing Inferences. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we are diving deep into the fascinating world of evidence analysis. Have you ever wondered how to make logical conclusions based on the information you have? Well, that's what we'll be discussing today, specifically focusing on drawing inferences. So, let's embark on this journey of analytical thinking together. An inference is a logical conclusion that we draw based on the evidence or information presented, even if it's not explicitly stated. Think of it like reading between the lines. It's a skill we use every day, often without realizing it. For example, if you see someone carrying an umbrella and wearing a raincoat, you might infer that it's going to rain or has been raining, even if nobody told you that directly. Before we dive deeper, it's crucial to understand the difference between observations and inferences. Observation. This is something that you notice directly. It's a fact or detail that you can see, hear, touch, taste, or smell. Using our previous example, observing someone with an umbrella is an observation. Inference. Based on that observation, you draw a conclusion. So, assuming it might rain because of the umbrella is an inference. Drawing inferences is not about wild guesses. It's a structured approach. Here are some steps to guide you. 1. Gather relevant evidence. Before drawing any inference, ensure you have enough information. Read, observe, or listen carefully. 2. Ask questions. What does the evidence suggest? Are there any patterns or contradictions? 3. Consider alternative explanations. There might be multiple inferences for a single piece of evidence. Weigh them all. 4. Draw a logical conclusion. Based on the evidence and potential explanations, make your best logical guess. The more you practice drawing inferences, the better you'll get. Let's try one together. You're reading a research paper and notice a graph showing a sharp increase in global temperatures over the past century. The text doesn't explicitly say why, but based on what you know about current events and science. Observation. The graph shows rising global temperatures. Possible inference. This rise might be due to human-induced factors, such as carbon emissions, leading to global warming. Remember, this is just one inference. The real skill is in evaluating multiple possibilities and determining which is most likely based on the evidence at hand. And there we have it. Drawing inferences is a vital skill, not just for academic writing and research but for everyday life. It helps us make sense of the world around us, piece together information, and come to logical conclusions. I hope this video shed light on how to sharpen this skill. Keep practicing, and always remember to think critically. Until next time, happy learning!